at the end of the sprint, the ideal, situ ideal situation will be that all items are closed. But sometimes they are not. Well, this is optimistic sentence. Always I found in my uh, experience that some, some of tasks are not closed. So they should be closed or they is still remaining work on, uh, for the next period, for the next sprint. So how to easily move those uh, items to new sprint? Okay, for this I will choose my project, okay, and when I'm in project I'm going to boards and I'm going to sprints. And you will see when I go to sprints, Okay, it will load some, come on, come on, come on, come on, refresh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, here it is. If I go to task board, I will see that I have some tasks which are not closed. Let me switch here in the stories and I will see that this user story has all tasks which are closed and then I have another user story which has no task at all it should be removed and I will remove it to the backlog okay so I will go and I will move it to iteration and I will say move it to the backlog okay now you can see that here I have one task which is ready some they are active, some are waiting for feedback, and some of them are closed. Okay, what can I do? I can go task by task and say move to iteration and say move to sprint two. Today, it is the last day of the sprint today. As I am recording that, it is Sunday, 18th of June. And I can move it to the, uh, to the next sprint if I want. Or I can move it if I don't want to do it in the next iteration to the backlog. But let's say, for example, that I want to move all unfinished, which means not closed user stories and tasks to new sprint. Okay? Let me show you how to do that in the easiest way. Not one by one, which I can do, but let's say that all those tasks which are here, okay, not for this user story, okay, for this user story, four, but for user story 15, I want everything to move into new sprint. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, let's go to the backlog. Remember, I am in a sprint backlog. This backlog contains only items which belongs to this sprint. You see iteration path? Okay, iteration path. I added iteration path like here in column options and I added iteration path. And I can see that the user stories, uh, 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 tasks and user stories which are in this sprint. Okay, so what I'm going to do I'm going to move only tasks which are not closed to the new sprint. Be aware of one thing. If I choose user story and move user story to a sprint, then all tasks which are in current sprint Okay, if I go here and say move it to the iteration and I say sprint number two, all tasks which belongs to this user story is going to be moved to the new sprint. Now let me open in separate tab and let me show you. You can see that I have tasks which belong to this user story 30, 31, 32, 33, 35, 6, 7 and 8. And here if I open this here, I will have I have 30, 35, 31, 32, 33, 42, 36, 34, 38, 44, 37, 39. Let's go more on that. 
41, 43, 36, and 40. So I should choose now, am I going to move this user story to the, to the new sprint and all their tasks or not? Basically, I am not moving the whole user story. I'm not going to move. And I'm going to move only tasks from all user stories which belongs to this sprint, to another sprint, and which are not closed. So I choose sprint one, and I'm going to choose filter. And now I'm going to filter out all, uh, uh, all uh, tasks which are closed. So for that purpose, I will choose active, I will choose ready, and I will choose wait for feedback, and I will opt out closed. Closed are not here. And now, remember, 33, 35, 36, 37, 38. Okay? From 33 to 38 without 34. If I go back here, and I was, I, now, first of all, how did I select it? I just hold the, the shift key. I selected 33. And with shift key, hold, uh, uh, hold the shift key, I, uh, I selected 38. Eight, so all of them are selected. Now I can choose any of them or I can right click. I will right click and I will say move to iteration sprint number two. You see this one is now in sprint number one. If I go here and if I move it to sprint number two, when you change in the user story, when you open user story, and change the iteration. Tasks which belong to this user story are not going to be moved automatically. On the other hand, if you do it here in a backlog, they are going to be moved in the new user story. So if you, in the new sprint, if I go here and say, move it to iteration and say sprint number two, okay? You will see what will happen. Hop, okay? Now let's go to sprint number two. And you will see that a lot of tasks are here. 33, 34, which wasn't here. 35, 36, 37, 38. 39, 40, 41. So if you make a mistake, it is a huge mistake. But let's say that I really want ju wanted just those tasks which were not closed, not the whole task for user story. What am I going to do now when I made a mistake? Well, it is hard work. I know that 33, 34, uh, 33, 35, 36, 37, and I, if I remember well, 38 were here. So I will use 34, I will hold the control key, I'm going to use 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, right click, and I will move, uh, move them to iteration, which is called backlog. Okay, now I'm in sprint two. Let's go to, uh, to, an, uh, to task board, and you will see that I have tasks which, be, which were in the previous sprint. Let's say, let me see now, I have a new sprint, and don't forget that today, when I'm while I'm recording is June 18th. From tomorrow, it will be it will be active this sprint. So that is the right time to do it. Okay, let's see over our location or something like that. Okay, I have people here, and I will go to work details. You will see that I have John, Mary, Paula, and Peter. Why is that? Because before I recorded this sprint, I put capacity here. If I leave capacity zero, okay, sorry, zero here, zero here, zero here, and zero here, and I save it. And if I go back to the task board, you will see that you will get nothing. Why? Because you allocated some tasks, as you can see, to Paula, to John, to Mary, etc., etc., but they 
don't have capacity. So be aware before you start your sprint. Go to capacity and put the right capacity. I will say now 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. For example, I have no days off. I will save it. I will go to the task board and you will see that I have something, some task assigned. So they are way to under, uh, uh, let's say, uh, underutilized. They are not utilized. So I can do something like go to the backlog here and assign some tasks which are in payrolls or in billing, let's say billing goods, which are not closed and which are uh, which should be uh, in the next sprint, which are not closed, which are not in current sprint and uh, move uh, them to the sprint. But this is not a topic of this uh, of this vlog. It, it, the topic is and was. If you go to the sprint and you choose sprint, okay, and you want to move some items to the sprint. Go to the backlog, filter out states of which you want to move to new sprint and be aware, if you choose tasks, okay, then, and not user story, once again, not user story, then only those selected tasks when you are going to move them to iteration, no matter which sprint, are going to be moved. If you are moving the whole user story here, all tasks which belongs to user story, no matter if they are in current sprint, which, uh, at you are, which uh, at you are looking at currently, this is sprint two, or not, are going to be in the new sprint in the sprint to which you move this user story. And once again, if you go to the specific user story and you change the sprint, then tasks which belong to users, this user story from this screen are not going to be moved in, in that particular sprint. But if you use this one, okay, from the sprint backlog and move it, then all tasks are going to be moved. Okay, hope this helps. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.